Greetings and salutations fellow YouTubians. My name is Terry Andrews Jr. also known as the J5 Guru. Today is June 21st, 2020, uh, Father's Day. Yay! Um, and so uh, I've been, uh, this morning, um, I, I, I got in contact with and, and spoke at great lengths to a gentleman named, I'm going to screw his first name up, uh, Bjorn. Uh, that's B G O R N Harms H uh, A R M S. Okay, uh, he lives in the Netherlands. I'm gonna put a link in the description to his YouTube channel, um, and he uses um, these ASME servos, the 380 kilogram ones, uh, in his RC car builds, um, which are actually rather unique. Um, when I say RC car, I mean these are actual full-size automobiles, okay? <laughs> uh, yeah, he has a uh, Back to the Future DeLorean, I believe, that he's RC controlled, a Night Industries 2000 uh, or the Kit Car from the Knight Rider TV series. Uh, he has a Corvette that he has converted. All three of these, I believe, he's converted to... Uh, um, RC control. Um, so I actually reached out to him last night on Facebook because he's a member of the uh, Input Inc. Builders Group on, on Facebook and said, hey, I've found a problem with these 380 servos and I know you use them in your builds. And of course, he's remote controlling, uh, you know, vehicles, uh, you know, very expensive vehicles. And yeah, it's pretty much a critical application. And I said, hey, the gears are stripping out before they reach their maximum torque. Ideally, what you would like to see in a servo is that it actually stalls prior to any gear train issues. Okay, but I've had two of these brand new um, ASME 04B. Uh, 12, 24 volt, 380 kilogram per centimeter robot servos from uh, the manufacturer, uh, what is it, uh, Wing XC, uh, so W-I-N-G-X-I-N-E is the name that they go by on eBay and uh, AliExpress and things like that. Anyhow, so... Uh, the gears, yeah, the main output gear, the main spur gear, uh, let me see, I think I, yep, I have one out of another servo. This gear here, uh, this gear is not hardened. So what is happening is the teeth are not only shearing off, but basically most of the teeth are just cur folding right over. The pinion gear that interfaces into this is hardened and shows no signs of of deterioration but the gear itself is unhardened and it fails when it should not so in my previous videos I showed uh, how I determined that it wasn't hardened how I went about and did a caveman you know DIY you know tempering of the gear hardening of it I don't know how strong it is so on and so forth so after talking to Bjorn uh, I decided that uh, I was going to have to actually test a servo more than likely to destruction. So I reassembled the servo with the original gear that I uh, uh, heat treated. And yeah, so, and now I will say this, the pin for the, the gear for the pinion, it's very loose in there because of all the stresses it's been under. Uh, when the gear originally failed, it tried to push those gears apart. So that may be a mode of failure, but so here's what I'm going to do. So I have it hooked up 24 volts again, just like all the other videos. As you can see, it is moving. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a 10 pound test, uh, 10 foot pounds. Uh, see if it operates and holds that, see if anything's changed. Uh, so here we go, here we go. And, there. and let's see if it will hold the past the 10 foot pound test. Okay, still holding at 10 foot pounds. So let's increase that 
to 20 foot pounds, which is where I left off in the last test. Okay, I fully expect this servo at some point to break. So if I jump, <laughs> hey man, I'm only human. Here we go. Okay. So I'm not going to. So 20 foot pounds were good. So ideally, what I'm looking for, I have this block set up. I have a piece of foam on here. I don't want a hard stop. I don't want a shock load on the gear. What I want to see is if when I apply, you know, basically when I try to stall this, does something let loose. Ideally, I want it to just stall and stop. Okay. So uh, this is probably the point where something's going to break. Let me make sure I got the arm on there. Okay. And slow. Full torque. Nothing broke. You see how much current. I got this clamped in here super hard, so the fact that that moved that up is telling you something. It's maxed out. Okay, so I am hammering that same spot on that pinion and on the output gear. You know, it's stopping at the same place. So if it was going to fail, let me see if, yeah, and I know I'm maxing out the PCB because these max out at, uh, I believe, a half amp. Let me see here, make sure. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Let me try this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Skookum. It is now Skookum. Uh, we know it works. So whatever this puts out now, it puts out, and when it reaches the end of its, you know, the, the capacity, it just doesn't move anymore, which is what you want. You don't want things to break. Um, so uh, there, there was one person that had suggested that I get the hardness right and sent me a link to all the, you know, uh, case hardening and gear hardening and stuff, and, and I completely understood. I'm like, yep, I'm completely out of my element here. <laughs> I just I was like, hey, I'll heat it up cherry red, quench it in some canola oil, and roll with it. I realized it was nothing scientific about it. Um, it was either going to work or it wasn't going to work. And in this case, it appears as though it works. The servo is now performing as it's supposed to perform. So uh, the manufacturer, again, uh, I'm going to be sending you this video, and you have a gear problem, okay? Uh, your gears are not hardened, which is causing them to fail, and in a critical application, such as uh, Bjorn Harms. Uh, yeah, he's had these things strip out on him where he's accidentally gotten, you know, he's been testing, and he's gotten a servo setting wrong, and it's traveled further than it was supposed to, and he said, bam, he said the gears just, it lets loose. 
It shouldn't do that. It should do what it did here. It should simply stall. Uh, so let me try it again. Boy, I'm I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, it it worked. Okay. Here we go. All right, Terry Andrews Jr., J5 Guru, saying bye for now. I hope you learned something, and uh, I, again, I learn yet again. Another day, another little tidbit of knowledge, and uh, I impart that on to you. All righty then. Talk to you later, and as always, if the monkey can see the arrow, come on. Come on, monkey. Come on. Push the button, monkey. There we go.